if for no other reason than to make. I've been waiting for you. So, what's our situation? I assume you've been briefed? Our targets are inside. Four cents under railroad protection. Majority of the settlement is uninvolved and are expected to run for cover. The situation appears to have escalated. A covert approach is likely impossible. The mission's parameters just changed. We're going shooting. Requesting backup relay now. Let's do this.
I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. F-633, initiate reset. Authorization code Delta-62 Arcus. All right, Synth. Please. Z-322, initiate reset. Authorization code Gamma-49 Typhoon. Here they are. God, it's a Corsair. Oh, no. Issue the reset codes and we'll relay back to the Institute. Time is critical. You there, Synth. Come on, please. Just... just don't. Why are you so afraid? I don't want to go back. Please, don't make me go back. B257, initiate reset. Authorization code Theta-93 Stratus. No sudden moves. Please, no. Y915, initiate reset. Authorization code Beta-77 Tempest. That's all of them. Objective complete. Return to the town. Make sure all hostiles have been eliminated. I will relay the synths back to the Institute. Report to Father upon your return, and... Good work.
Fascinating. You'll never leave here alive! I am, I am no longer detecting an hello. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed.
Sean. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here. The only hope for humanity lies below. It wasn't always like this. It used to be different. I can only imagine. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. Kellogg called me the backup. Did he? Well, he was correct. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out. Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. I had no idea what kind of man you were, you see. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time, attempt to find me. And now I know the answer. Well, here I am. Was it worth it? I believe so. <clears throat> there are greater things to come after your success at Bunker Hill. The synths have been safely returned and will be repurposed. Thank you for your work. I hope you weren't at too much risk. There's always a risk. It was worth it. I'm glad you see it that way. The railroad remains an annoyance, of course. But they'll be dealt with as necessary. And you, well, you've passed the test, as they say. You have done well. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. Our appreciation, really. It's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Work bringing that rogue synth back. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done, all that he has built. Let's get this directorate meeting over with before we speak further. It's... Uh, it's important. You call this a clean floor? Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust?
Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is he doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence. But there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad continues to operate and is becoming more ambitious. SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, sir. Very good, thank you. It's clear that our safety needs to be the primary concern going forward. To that end, where are we on phase three? Uh, sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about phase three? What's phase three? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready. But recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three. And to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I'm not overly fond of putting my own father in harm's way, he has proven more than capable of handling himself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now... There is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please, as I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... I'm sorry to say I am dying. Why? You can't please, be serious. Everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. There must be something we can do to help you. The only thing that matters now is continuing the Institute's work. It will be all right. I assure you, we can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my father as my successor. Oh, boy. 
You can't be serious. Really? Seems a poor choice. How can you possibly justify this? He isn't one of us. He isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my father has already proven himself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Dr. Carlin's doing some amazing things with our genetically engineered crops. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Father. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. I can do the job. Of course you can. That's why I made the decision. There's no question that some of the Directorate and the Institute at large will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Son. I dislike resorting to the use of Commonwealth technology, but the advantage it will provide in this case cannot be overlooked. Dr. Fillmore. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. I need some details here. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Of course. That's why we're talking. Otherwise, you'd be up top already. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the Mass Fusion Building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. No way. You're not going. You'd be a liability. Well, that's about the most insulting thing I've heard in a while. Okay, you're on your own then. Good luck. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to Mass Fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. When the lights go down and the stars come out, Man just forgets about all his troubles.
visual. Oh, no, you don't. I don't see the beryllium agitator anywhere. They must have moved it. Come in handy. Going down.
beam down. Cycling airlock, please wait. Initiating decontamination sequence. Decontamination complete. You may proceed. Contamination complete.
Decontamination complete. Security alert in the reactor chamber. Emergency lockdown initiated. Contamination complete. Required. Weapons free. Running close to four. Hide from us. Be back up. Kill him. Stop. 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 Stop.
squad. Hostile sensor reading detected. Someone present. Pharrell. Max. Father has always been a little unpredictable. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Dr. Fillmore. Well, I see you managed on your own. I won't lie. I was a little nervous you wouldn't pull it off. Seems I needn't have worried. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. Here, that rogue scent at Libertalia, okay. the real getting menace. extra rest. Are there many more of these questions? Mm -hmm. Any additional pain? Tender? Not that I can notice. I feel quite well. I see. How's your energy? Feeling any fatigue? No more than I expected in the land of my age. I see. You're sticking to the regimen we agreed upon? Yes, Doctor. I'm taking all my little pills. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Doctor. I think that will be all for now. But I haven't quite finished. I believe we're done now. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. Would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause, but by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless, the Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. 
This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace, despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. Hello, sir. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I can't believe you thought this was a valuable use of time and resources. Are you kidding me? The Institute is clearly trying to kidnap a Commonwealth citizen. Again! And you're saying we shouldn't be here? I thought our whole purpose was to protect the people. To stop shit like this from happening. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure him out here, since it'd be easier to kill him. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place, to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? If we don't do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy... ...wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? This whole thing is just... ...a misunderstanding. This isn't a mis... This whole thing... This isn't a mis... This whole thing... This isn't a mis... This whole... This isn't a mis... This whole this isn't a misunderstanding. This is you telling us this whole thing a misunderstanding. Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. The Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work together. No.
you don't have all the information. I do. And I'm telling you, this isn't what it looks like. That man's not in danger. You know what? You don't have all the... You know what? You don't have all the... You know what? I've got all... You don't have all the information. You know what? You don't... You know what? Mm -hmm. I... You... You'd better be right. If you're not, that man's life is on your head. I'll have my men stand down. But you'd better get in there and make sure you're right. Hello, sir. you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Everything's taken care of. You're safe. Good. Good. It was bad enough that Wallace started giving us trouble, but then he called in those savages. Those are good men out there. You have no right to insult them like that. Those good men of yours wanted to kill me. Forgive me for not thinking terribly highly of them. Can we just get on with this, please? I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. If he's really important to the Institute, then it's worth it. You're right, I suppose. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts, like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. No problem. I'm sure I can get him to see reason. I hope so. We really need him. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, of, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? I mean you no harm. No one here does, all right? We're just here to talk. You're not stealing my organs, or shooting me into space, or whatever it is you do. I won't let you. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Right. We're here to steal your kidneys and your memories. That's why I'm wasting time talking to you through the door. That's not funny. None of this is funny. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. If I wanted to... Hey, just calm down, okay? If I weren't... Hey, just... If I weren't... Hey, just calm down, okay? If I weren't... It... Hey, if I weren't... Uh... Hey, just... if I weren't...
Hey. If I weren't. Hey, just calm down, okay? If I weren't. Hey, just. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help the Institute? But aren't, aren't they, you, I'm, I'm the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. Ah, <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean... Thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow this script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. 
Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in unnecessary difficulties for all parties. Rest easy. Know that the future is in safe hands and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Care about the battle between the Brotherhood and Institute? The one a bunk of hell? A bunch of people got killed or something. Total blood. Diamond City surplus! Open 24 hours! to make a purchase. You shoot people in, sir? My dad says outside to shoot people. Oh, uh, um... Hi, there. No wonder it isn't broadcasting at full power. Okay, let's try this. Maybe this goes here. Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff. If you, uh, if you don't, if you don't mind. I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay, I usually don't. This is why, this is why. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, 
Please alert the facilities division immediately. If you ask me, we're only scratching the surface with the latest synths. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. Sean, enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. I'm all set. But what about the reactor? The initial round of tests is finished. All readings are nominal. So yes, I think we're ready. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Son. It's almost hard to believe. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. Advances will in time change the world. I have to admit, the third generation sense are really something. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you.
Nice work bringing that rogue synth back. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? Remember to practice good sanitation habits at all times. The latest May synth the generation is just you, amazing. We're looking forward Those to working with you. Those guys in robotics are working miracles. What kind of work will we be doing exactly? Well, normally the Directorate reviews and approves research tracks for the various divisions. Today, however, we're here for a different reason. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed? Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. Where are you going with this? What's the Institute's goal? Well... The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? If this has to happen, we keep the violence to a minimum. We're not out to destroy the Commonwealth. Of course. It was never the intention to cause more harm than is necessary. As Director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? What would the results of this choice be? I'd like to make a well-informed decision. Well. If we increase synth production, we'd be able to deploy more of them to the Commonwealth to aid in our operations. Weapon development would improve the weapons we have available to us now, making our synths more effective in the field. Which would you prefer we focus on? I've seen enough to know that weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development. As you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Being the director of the Institute is a serious commitment. I hope you understand that. We're making real progress, thanks to you. We got more than enough power, thanks. A clean and healthy work environment is essential Son. to maximize productivity. Son, ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. And yet, as a leader, you must make those hard choices. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? 
Do you count them amongst your allies? Does it matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively and we must act now. Will you do it? Is this really necessary? I'm afraid it is. I take no pleasure in it, but it must be done for the sake of everyone in the Institute. And it must be done now. Are you willing? I can take care of them. Good. Good. I don't enjoy asking you to put yourself in harm's way, but this is so important. Hey, it's Bullseye. Bullseye's back. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. You Something gotta on be your careful, mind? Man. You don't look so the good. The Institute is everywhere. Do you trust me? Trust is a scarce commodity in our organization. Let me answer you like this. I have put our future and the future of all since in your hands. I didn't do that lightly. And you haven't given me a reason to regret that decision. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? How do I deal with this, Desdemona? Give me a straight answer first. Are you still on our side? You're alive, so what do you think? I think you didn't answer the question. Things have progressed faster than we expected. You need to stall them, buy time any way you can, and step up your operation with Patriot. That's all we can do. Good luck. There's more going on than you know. Trust me.
Let's do this. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Excuse me. You are authorized to access my stock of supplies. I've got a few minutes to browse. Just as you gave life to Father, he gave life to many of us. So, the work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. Nope. Not a problem at all. I regret that it came to this, even if you don't. There was just no way to compromise with those people. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. Whatever it is, we can handle it. I believe so. But in this case, what matters most is how we handle it. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. And they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. 
We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. Status. All functions normal. At last, we have power adequate to I our I used needs. to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less... Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? ...animated pursuits. Sean says it's time. Ah, that. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? What can you tell me about the airport? Well, there are a few key buildings that are still structurally sound, but no pre-war aircraft are still in service. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And, oh! I almost forgot. Take these. And these would be... Oh, you'll like this. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean... Thanks. I thought it was neat. But still, it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? What's Liberty Prime? Dr. Lee can give you the rundown. Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. What did you do? I designed and oversaw the building of the reactor that ultimately solved the power problems. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth, capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? With Liberty Prime on our side, that'll give us a hell of an advantage. He's not going to go stomping around, and he won't be taking orders, but he will have his weapons and targeting systems overridden. And he'll absolutely recognize their airship as the primary communist target in the Commonwealth. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. 
Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. Have we got a plan B? We don't need a plan B. This will work. Anything else? What happens to Liberty Prime after this? They'll be destroyed along with the rest of the Brotherhood. What have I got for backup? Once the generators are down, we'll be able to throw everything we've got at them. And I do mean everything. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor online. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Now, all done. You can return to your duties. And remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember, health and happiness go hand in hand. From what I hear, that rogue synth at Libertalia was a real menace. Glad it's back where it belongs.
Someday, super mutants kill everything. So many planes, not many super mutants. The robot workbench is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to create complex robots. Yeah. Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Let's see what you have. Always happy. Uh-huh. Coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. What I wouldn't give for a good stiff drink. Let's hope this beacon will be the only piece we need to track down the mechanist. World is bigger than strong. Hey, Carla. Hey there. Trading? I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I got. Right here! Okay. of human kindness soon. The robot workbench is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to... Apparently, the castle has been trying to get a hold of me. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. The farm's not much, but it's something. Gave you the idea we're friends. Next person that asked me to shag is getting a well placed kick. If you get my woman. Yeah? Hey, Carla. You again. Here to trade? I've got a few minutes to browse. Always happy.
Apparently, the castle has been trying to get a hold of you. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. Let's hope this beacon will be the only piece we need to track down the mechanist. The robot workbench is a powerful tool, allowing even the simplest of minds to create complex robots. 